Hi. Oh. Hi. I will stand here so you can see me properly. Um. A. I know my voice is kind of soft often, and often people can't hear me. I did order a couple of microphones on the internet on like eBay over the weekend, so because I had some construction criticism from a friend and I, I often get it on my videos so yeah microphone I figured that would help because often my voice is very soft or I can be loud if I want to but yeah I tend to prefer to have a soft voice and nice um although my voice is kind of deep and masculine a little sometimes okay I thought, A, I would do a help, little Halloween book haul, there's only three books here, that's sort of TBR, no, not really TBR, but um, Halloween book haul, just, I'm going to do like a spring, summer reading list kind of thing, but, yeah, so I would do this in the meantime, as a cute little short Halloween video, and sort of introduction to, I was going to like, sort of read them out in like, Maybe the shorts, I haven't said yet on how I'm going to do this, I was going to sort of read them to you in little short passages, in YouTube shorts, potentially, I can't, haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this, but I did come up with this idea over the weekend when I saw, last week when I saw one of these books being read out on the internet, and often, often I know people read things like children's books and all sorts of things like that, so... I figured this would be no different. So you actually borrowed this from the library initially, but I ordered one myself because um, I like reading it. This is called How to Not Get Murdered in English Village. Like, so sort of, I don't know if you, I, 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 has everyone heard of, he heard of Midsummer Murders? And a lot of the Brit the British people make very good who done it who done it kind of Cluedo esque like crime shows a little bit like um, true crime kind of thing. I did used to watch them, but then I got confused and thought they were they're all very sort of similar and have similar sort of plot lines, particularly Midsummer Murders, um, and all sorts of things like that. Um, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of them around. Midsummer Murders, Murders is probably the most famous and often these things, the exception of shows like the, there's a bunch of them set in London, like I know the bill was set in sort of South London, which is more, more sort of dodgier, if you like, parts of London, um, where all the not so wealthy people live. You know, council trash and shit. Um, so yeah, um, often these murders seem to inc uh, seem to take place in an English village. So sort of those, those people like um, Miss Marple from that one, Ag Ag Agatha Christie. So I was thinking of um, which often they're based on books, I believe. Which Agatha Christie is definitely. Um, but yeah, I do, I think there's a movie on, is it Perot? Perot, the one with the moustache. Um, but yeah, I figured this would be quite a funny book to A, read for myself, and to have around to read for Halloween, so, yeah, it is epic. I have, I did read, sort of, I was, I kind of borrowed it just because I was, um, waiting for my, my chiropractor, sessions and I kind of got up there a little bit early or like an hour early or something I sort of oh go to the library see if they have anything interesting and they did so I picked sort of picked this up or borrowed it from the library and then my mum took it back and then I bought my own copy because I figured it was something I would like to have in my collection um this is quite an amusing one for horse people in general deadly equine um, does it surprise me that this book exists? Not really. Um, horses can be quite deadly in terms of falling off. There are people who died falling off horses, I believe. Um, 
it's quite a dangerous walk from that perspective, but yeah. Um, like horses are generally known to be gentle, but yeah, often they're not. I'm just, I was just curious because I saw someone reading this, someone like reading this online, which is kind of where I got the idea to read out books to you on in either short, probably short videos, or short YouTube shorts. Um, and maybe Instagram mails as well. I'll probably put them on there. Um, but yeah, I found it on eBay for myself. And I was like, I'm intrigued. And I don't know, do people, have, have people heard of the Headless Horseman kind of vibe? I believe it's an old sort of English story um, or tale of, yeah. I just figured I would buy this. Um, just got a bunch of sort of slightly creepy-esque stories in it that have some Halloween vibes so I thought I would A make it part of my Halloween setup or maybe I can give it to a cousin or something. Um, yeah, I usually do a Halloween setup more so an experience for kids more so than actual treatos because I think they get enough for that. Halloween. I do put make a little like treasure hunt type of situation rather than actual handing them a bowl of treats kind of vibes. That's why I'm planning to do on this weekend at this time anyway. Um, and often I give them little party favors like um yeah. Anyway um like this this year I'm planning to you are out do a little treasure hunt. Um, so yeah. Um, and more of a Halloween experience rather than actual giving out treats. But anyway, um, I will do a little vlog of it when it happens, hopefully. Um, obviously not vlogging actual local kids. Um, but yeah. I'm intrigued about this as well. Like, I do like myself a spooky story. I have not watched it any Halloween films yet. I was gonna go out Labyrinth on the weekend, but um, this last, my last, big, last weekend was quite busy, so I might watch it this weekend. But I do have to, like, wait for the, a time when the TV is not occupied. I often, I often actually watch YouTube on the TV. So, like, it's like, when am I going to, I don't have to, a lot of time to watch my own YouTube, a lot of YouTube videos at the moment, so I might do Yeah, I don't have enough time to watch YouTube a lot often. Because I'm working on my, too busy working on my own goddamn channel. Um, but anyway, it is fun, so I don't mind doing this. But it is, it is like a little bit frustrating when you miss a lot of your own, a lot of content you would enjoy watching. But I do often save it. Anything I want to say, I often save things for a later date, and I'm sure I get great joy in waiting to watch things and watching things where I'm left feeling not so great, shall we say. Yeah, I thought I would do a little video, a little book haul for Halloween. I might do a little, I'm kind of doing a little vlogtober kind of Halloween video series. I've just come up with this today, but I might, maybe I should do that. Um, and that would definitely include shorts and like yeah i'm gonna try and do a video every day up until halloween and i'm gonna do some i'm going to brisbane maybe in october there's a thing called classic choir on at christmas time i have done nothing no preparation for this so far aside from um downloading printing sheet music I may be listening to the actual song a couple of times on the radio, that's kind of it. So, yeah. 
I may have to listen to it um, before I go though, so I know what I'm doing. But um, but yeah, I do intend. I do this. We have we have a little rehearsal dates planned in Sydney and Brisbane. So I'm like, I did sign up for both of them. Um, so I have a bit of flexibility around that. I'm definitely looking towards going to the Brisbane one, but yeah, whether I go to Sydney as well, I'm not, I'm not sure. I actually prefer Brisbane to Sydney in a lot of cases. Um, I just, I do not like Sydney. I was born in Sydney, but I do not like Sydney. I don't know, I don't know why. Yes, I do not like it. I, I did spend a lot of time going there but to get test for school and things, but yeah. It's changed a lot since I was a child, let me tell you. But anyway, um, I, didn't, I do enjoy going to see where I used to live and stuff, that kind of bit. But there are some great places to visit in Sydney, I'm not going to lie. But I would enjoy spending a couple of days down there to go to a little choir, choir rehearsal. But we will see what happens. I will definitely go out. Bye.